A cesarean section, known as a C-section, is a surgery to deliver a baby via the abdomen. A C-section occurs when a physician determines it to be a safer delivery option for the mother, baby, or both. Mothers may also choose to have a planned C-section, called an elective surgery, which is usually scheduled at 39 weeks of pregnancy. Also, women who have given birth via a cesarean section before are often advised to give birth via a C-section for the next baby. Common indications for C-section include labor dystocia. Labor dystocia can occur when the baby's head is too big to fit through the pelvis. Another indication for C-section is placenta previa, when the placenta wholly or partially covers the opening of the uterus. Sometimes the baby is in breech position, so the feet are down instead of the head down. A prolapse of the umbilical cord or fetal distress before full cervical dilation can result in a loss of oxygen to the fetus and may even result in a stillbirth. Also, when a mom has twins or even more babies at the same time, is usually an indication of a cesarean section. Other indications include pelvic tumor or cervical cancer, active herpes infection, macrosomia, is when the baby weighs more than four kilograms. The procedure begins by inserting an angiocatheter into the patient's hand. Also, a bladder catheter is inserted. There is usually a sheet between the operation field and the patient's head so that the patient cannot see the surgery herself. Different anesthesias can be done. General anesthesia, regional anesthesia. In general anesthesia, the patient is not conscious and the baby will receive some of the medications, which can lead to sedation of the child. So it's usually done when surgery has to be done in an emergency setting. Regional anesthesia, such as spinal anesthesia, is the method of choice in which the spinal nerves are numbed. And the baby won't receive any medication. The patient remains conscious but won't feel the pain. The doctor will begin by making an incision in your skin. There are different skin incisions, a vertical incision, and more often, a horizontal incision just above the pelvic bone, usually around the bikini line. After the skin incision, the fascia fat, muscle layer, and peritoneal layers are cut. The urinary bladder is carefully pushed to the side to protect it. After the incision to the uterus is made, the doctor will rupture the amniotic sac. And the baby can be taken out of the uterus. Then the umbilical cord is cut and the baby is wrapped in warm towels for the first examination. The placenta was gently removed. And the cut layers were now sewn back together. The whole duration of the cesarean section is around 15 to 30 minutes of the surgery. 
the mother stays in the hospital for four to seven days. Walking after the C-section is necessary to speed recovery. This can help ease gas pains, help you have a bowel movement, and prevent blood clots. The incision usually heals within 8 to 12 days. Over time, your scar will become thinner and flatter and turn either white or the color of your skin.